All right, hey Dave, uh, why don't you tell the people that might be watching how you met us today? Okay, um, I'm a missionary from Virginia and I just left on Easter from Virginia to go to all 50 states and to go to four towns in each state a week at each stop. So I'm about 14 weeks out and I uh, have to be in Minnesota now. This is my second stop before in uh, Minnesota. So now we're well, in Duluth and uh, today I I found a, a Christian bookstore somebody told me about and I went to a Christian bookstore here in Duluth and uh, the lady that, that owns it, um, I told her what I was doing, I'd like to see some brothers and sisters who go out in the street and share the gospel. And so she said, oh, well, I'm going to call somebody for you. So she called and put me on the phone with Jeremy here. And so we just met up about an hour ago downtown here, uh, right at the bus stop downtown Duluth and uh, had the pleasure already to share the gospel with a couple of folks and uh, we're getting ready to go downtown in the streets and the byways and share some more so uh, God be the glory. And so uh, do, you have a, do you have another testimony that maybe it's on your mind right away of, of you know you've been uh, uh, on your travels you know another story that kind of stands out for you while you've been traveling? That's such a, a whole lot has happened in 14 weeks it's amazing. Uh, so many things. So I don't have one story really. Uh, I could just say it's been quite an adventure so far. And again, I'm only 14 weeks into a 200 stop journey, so I can't imagine what it might be like in six months, much less a year, two, three, four years from now. Um, I believe just about any man could write a book with what's happened already. So uh, I'm just excited about what the Lord's doing through me. Uh, I've noticed that as I've become obedient to his call he's put more burdens on my heart than I had when I left and so uh, that's not to complain at all but I'm seeing more of Christ as I travel and learning to love people even in more ways than I imagined before so it's just amazing I can say number one that the Lord can use someone like me and bless me to call me to go on such a journey I could have never dreamt it before and uh, it's both humbling and, and amazing at the same time. So I'm just say excited for what the Lord's doing through me. And uh, I look forward to one day that the Lord would show me what would actually happen from all these efforts, which I say are very small ones. And then one last question. Where are you staying when you go somewhere? Is there somewhere you stay or what do you do? Oh, I stay. I, I stay in my truck. I, I have a six foot tent. Sometimes I stay in that if it's too hot. And sometimes I meet brothers and sisters along the way and they invite me to stay in their home. So I trust the Lord to provide. My dad will be happy to know I've gained weight. I had lost Eddie and, I, and I'm well. I'm doing well. And if someone wants to follow what you're doing, where can they follow you online or, or something? Okay, yes. I have a website that was made to document this journey and where people can follow along with me. And it's called hiscall888.com. Hiscall. 888.com. Also have a Facebook account about two weeks old because I'm kind of behind the curve of technology. But David Banton on Facebook, B-A-N-T-O-N. You can find out what's going on there and keep in touch. God bless you.